event of an epidemic, please try not to panic. was forced to close one of its experimental treatment centers this morning after its cybernetic doctors experienced a malfunction and started performing autopsies on all patients. Bungle says the error is being corrected and the centers will reopen soon.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little less effervescent than usual today. It was a bit of a restless night in the Hawthorne household, and I'm afraid I didn't get much sleep. My spaniel, Federico, woke me up in a fit of barking, and when I went to fetch him a bowl of baked beans, that always calms him right down, I noticed a bit of a commotion outside. Seven police cars, two ambulances, and the remains of what I believe one calls a street gang fight. Not a pretty sight, let me tell you. Still, all those blue and red lights certainly did give the street a festive look, and I'm happy to say by this morning, most of the teeth had been hosed away. Now, let's listen to some jolly wake-me-up music.
Another earthquake warning for the sweaty palms area. Or as the hotels like to tell the tourists, it's time to look forward to another bouncy ground fun time. Enjoy your stay. They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, a stretch too far.
This is Two Point Radio. Yeah, huh. Patients for surgery now arriving. A bit of a scandal this morning after it emerged that Jumbo Medical Solutions has been secretly extracting blood samples from people using Jumbo vending machines. The company says it's merely monitoring the health of all its customers, which is awfully nice of them, I must say. Thank you. 